lot of people see my situation and not think that I'm not high function. What situation? I'm not married, yeah. right? I have beautiful children. How many? Eight. I, was, I thought, I, I didn't do my research. I thought it was four, but eight, okay. No, baby, cool. it's, it's By how eight. many women? Three. And this is the kicker. I want more. Now. By multiple women? What's the intent? I just want God to your bring wife? I just want God to bring them. Oh, okay. And you have, so you just. Because my okay. point is this. My desire to get married mm -hmm. is lower than my fear of divorce. So, as you had said, Dr. Bryant, you said it, I didn't say it, I will agree. I'm just taking my time. You're not taking your time. I am, though. You're being very action-based. You're not taking your time. You're being very action-based. I'm taking my time. You're being very action-based. You have eight kids yeah. with three different women. Yes. You are creating, procreating, and multiplying. That is not taking your time. You're being very selectively active. Mm. Okay? So you're creating, mm -hmm. in disclaimer, the kids are innocent, they are beautiful and amazing. Anything I say has nothing to do with them babies because I, I can't wait to be a mom and I love, 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 love the kids, period. Um, but you are proactively choosing where you want to be active at and where you want to take your time. Mm -hmm. You want to take your time in having a wife because of your own fears. But you will, and I say this with all respect and love, what I'm about to say next, okay, Cam? But you will selfishly create broken families, even if you're in their life and you're a proactive father and I believe you're an amazing daddy. I can only imagine with just your presence and, and knowing you thus far, but these families are still broken. Mm. So I guess the question goes, is, do y'all think Cam and men like Cam are breaking, or even women like Cam who got that, um, you got that, that, that type of making children without a, a, a father or a mother in the house. Do you think they, these people are creating broken homes? Yeah, the interesting thing about this with Cam, man, is there's so many things to unpack there, right? Like, um, I've always tried to, like, dissect Cam a little bit when I watch him and listen. Yeah. Knowing that he is from Atlanta, knowing that his father is a pastor of a church, <laughs> that his mom, you know, uh, leads women's Bible study. Like, that's always intrigued me to be like, how does that translate when they have conversation with him right yeah like he openly says i have eight kids um with three different women and by the way I want to clear something up that he didn't say in the interview he has six biological kids mm. he takes care of children by two other men oh wow that's what it looks like man so um it's not it's not uh eight kids by three different women well he said it, two women he has four with one lady and he has um one with another and then he raises her um her biological daughter uh -huh. and then he also just had one with uh the comedian um i think her name is jess like jazzy jasmine yeah and so he's got he's got uh three baby mothers but the first the first set where he has four with one woman now the interesting thing to me also was when he said they all live with me yeah how, what that doesn't even make sense that they all live with you a apparently he's got to be playing house at some point if he unless he misspoke because he has a brand new baby that i'm sure is not well, living all, with him well, without, the, be, without the mother they all could be living with him he and the mothers don't live with him you know what i'm saying that like so she she just had this baby she just had his no baby. i'm not talking i mean and maybe I she lived with her together yeah yeah, yeah. she lives okay with i'm so, talking about his other kids so then her yeah mother. her definition of a broken home is right you created a house for these other kids to live in or their mothers or whatever and when they go visit their mothers that's what they experience but then you've got a home yeah. that you're building with this new mother right that you're also not married to so she may it just be a matter of time before you replace her and move on my, i i think that my thing is this i i think any person that can watch that any and, and this is my opinion any yeah. woman that watched that and says yeah cam you can be my baby daddy then i'm like why yeah mm -hmm. exactly like why would you why would you want to have somebody who is like i'm not going to marry you i just want the kid well, you because, know what i'm saying like i just want kids yeah. because the kids are an investment you hear about all the time where these women have kids with these 
star athletes and yeah. rappers and yeah. it's because they're going to get $40,000 a month to live mm. and who and how what kind of lifestyle are you going to have with $40,000 a month mm. and you don't have to work or you either have your own job you have your own situation going yeah. on but you got $40,000 a month coming in that you have to do nothing with for the next 18 years mm. yeah. so a lot of I, I think women would sign up for that and I hate to say that, but that mm. that's kind of what she talked about in another interview where it talks about um, it talks about women that are um, what's the word she used? I'll, I'll come back to that in the next one. Yeah. But the thing that scares me the most is, yeah, um, he is creating broken homes. But the part that really scared me is like, I want God to send me more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, bro, like, what Bible are you reading? Right. <laughs> because the way procreation works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but principle. But I but think. But here's the thing about him. Mm-hmm. I think at the same time, he doesn't see, like, he just sees his. He sees his money first, because that's what he's scared of. And in the clip, he said, "I, I don't want to get a divorce. I'm more scared of the divorce than." Than raising kids You get what I'm saying Like he's yeah. like I'm scared of marriage That doesn't make sense though That's that what a prenup is for If it's that If it's that deep <laughs> But then that's also Part of The celebrity <laughs> I'm just saying Like Yeah That's also part of The celebrity situation Right The celebrity situation is You get out here You get tempted By all these things That are put in front of you Cam is very tempted He's been very look at look at Cam's success if got, record. If he got six baby mom, I mean six kids, he, he, he's 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 not doing well with temptation. Right, right, no, not at all. <laughs> and he said that he said he said God made me a six foot. What is he? Six foot five, six foot five athlete. I can't just walk into the store and um, turn women down. Like I, they, if they come at me, I gotta I gotta go say something. I gotta go entertain that. Like I just can't. He made it's his. He said it's my it's God's fault that. God made him attractive. That's crazy. I, all that is, all that is fine and dandy. But I go back to what is he hearing from his family? Because it almost sounds like the Kanye complex, where you got so many people around you that are either eating off of you, or they love the they love the light that you're in, the light that you're that you're a part of the circle. Yeah. That they don't tell you the truth. Because mm-hmm. the first thing I would do is tell my son, "Bruh, you need to get it together." And if I'm a grandmother or a grandparent of all these kids coming in the house, at some point I'm gonna be like, "What are we but doing here's, here?" But here's the thing: like me and Maya, me and Maya, uh, I'm, I'm gonna let you go next because <laughs> <laughs> you've been quiet, um, and we want to hear your voice. I was talking to Maya about this, and we was talking about Glorilla and like um, if Glorilla was your daughter, yeah, and you gave her and and she rapping the way she's rapping, and you um, and she come to you and say, "Dad." You know, and you come to her and like, I don't know what you're doing. I don't like what you're rapping about. Blah. I don't like the music you're putting out. But she come to you and in a time of need, and it's like, here's the money for the house. You can pay off the house. Would you take the money or would you be like, no, I okay? Wouldn't. I think a lot of people are getting kickback from Cam. Of course. So they're not saying nothing to Cam. His parents ain't saying nothing. Mean, we don't know. Honestly, that's a hard thing to say. And that's the hard. But part. yeah, at the it looks like they're saying him. He's look, it looks like he's like, I'm going to, I'm paying you or I'm I'm helping you. So don't tell me what to do with my life. Man, I'm choosing God over my kids. Bro, <laughs> I'm serious. Like if my kids are, if my kids are doing something that I know is going to take me into a fiery pit with them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bro, we separating right here, right now. Separation. Yeah. Boom. Drawing but, that line. So what do you think? What, what do you think, Shana? Oh, I got a lot of thoughts. Okay. See how I... The first thing I thought about was, well, one, as far as like the family, I feel like grandma it has said something, but he's a grown man. He can do what he want to do, you know? But at the same time, what really came out to me, especially when you brought up the fact that he's a PK, is rebellion. Mm, bars. This is yeah, rebellion. He mentioned rebellion being a part of his lifestyle, but he also, his how big I think his biggest issue is, and I think this would be all of our issues, right? Or could be. This is the test of character. Mm-hmm. Is if like I've been praying to God about some specific things um, about my life right now, and one of the things that I've been praying is God, don't send anything before I'm mature enough to handle it. Right. I'll I'll go through this brokenness for as long as you want me to until I learn that lesson. When you feel like I've learned the lesson and I'm okay, I'm shielded. Mm-hmm. Then then yeah, I'll, I'll be ready for that when it comes. But I think for Cam. His situation was star star athlete in in high school, right? Um, uh, Westlake High School, which is around the corner from us. Mm-hmm. Um, star athlete in college, 
NFL. It's like the money came, the fame came. So if you're in that point right now where you haven't chosen God over all these things, mm -hmm. these things are going to continue to elevate mm -hmm. above God. The reasoning is when when God told uh, when um, when Jesus told the tax collector to go and sell everything, go sell all your possessions. Yeah. He was sad. The Bible says he walked away sad. Yeah. You're going to be sad if God tells you to get rid of all your things and you're used to people. You're used to being there for everybody. Yeah. You're used to being in the limelight. You're going to want to choose all those other things if you haven't elevated your character in God first. Mm. Yeah, if you haven't submitted because God is literally the best thing, even though it seems like you have to give up everything. Yeah. But it's like, but he's so much more yeah. and so much better than everything. And then once you realize that and experience that, you're like, bro, none of this stuff matters. Yeah. And another thing that came up to me is like, perfect love cast out fear mm. and then also a man's way seems right to him so it's like bro you're filtering your life by fear mm -hmm. you're filtering your perspective by sin and i think jackie hill perry had a video based on that as well that sin itself is an issue but it's not the whole issue because sin shapes your perspective and the way that you see things mm -hmm. and you're making all of these decisions that seem right that feel right to you but you're creating broken homes and all of this stuff behind you the enemy will really have us out here looking stupid mm -hmm. <laughs> like he will really have you out here looking stupid giving into sin and fear and all the rest of this stuff when it's like bro you came up in church you know the way so 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 what do you say Shanae, to a woman that's like i want i still want to get with cam what, what advice would you say to i mean woman? they're out there Oh yeah They're out there We just came out the. I think we're still in it though The era of The elevated baby mama And girlfriend Where we got I'm not gonna name drop Cause mm -hmm. I don't want them In my DMs But like all of these women <laughs> That are literally on tour Got careers Just because they're The girlfriend of a famous rapper Or oh, yeah. a baby mama yep. So yeah. like They get on love and hip hop And all of these things So it is a career choice And an investment But it's like Do you really want that though? Because I understand I was in a situation before where I was talking to this guy and he wanted a baby so bad. And I'm like, wait, marriage. Pause. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I understand you want a pretty baby. That's that's what, what we had to order here. Mm. And it's like, I remember thinking and I was like, I can't imagine someone that would love my seed more than they love me. Mm. Yeah. Like, just imagine the amount of like, I was glad the not like I was thinking about it but or considering it but the lord allowed me to feel that for a moment to where it's like you're with a man and he loved your kid so much but he don't love you he don't want hey, you yeah like i can only imagine like these girls are getting into these situations and situationships thinking like oh it's the career but y'all not thinking about the pain that's gonna ensue living that out yeah yeah y'all worth the man's love and his children women yeah i had um an encounter with somebody who told me that they were scrolling through Facebook one day mm -hmm. and this dude that they thought was the it guy in high school put on Facebook like man I just want kids and I and I just want to I want to be married who wants to have a kid with me and this person responded like I do all right Jeez. and they got engaged man and woman of god got engaged and had a kid out, out of wedlock and as soon as the baby came peace out he was done he was, he was done he was gone so it's like and we talked about it like that's the trap <laughs> that the enemy set yeah when you were scrolling through facebook and you saw that that was the trap but why would, okay unfortunately he was and, and here's the thing about cam yeah. and that situation yeah they're honest you get what I'm saying? They're yeah. honest and saying... Oh, we got another honest clip coming up, too. Yeah, we do. <laughs> but what I'm saying is they're, they're honest enough to say, hey, if you get with me, yeah. most likely you're not going to marry me. I'm not going to marry you. Most likely I'm just going to impregnate you and I'm going to have kids. Mm -hmm. So now it's really on you to say, hey, I want to, like you said, be mm -hmm. a baby mama or nah, bro. I want to I want to be a wife. And that's yeah. what we have to pray for our sisters and, and our women because they start thinking about timing. Yeah. They start saying, yeah. like, well... What if I don't get that husband? And but I do want to be a mom so bad. I do want to be. You a parent ain't gonna get so that bad. husband, right? And you gonna get the pain, <laughs> right? Like God created His order perfect on purpose. It's yeah. intentional so that you can avoid all of these pitfalls that you don't even know exist. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you, being a being a father of four and me and my wife being in this joint, 
I can't see anybody doing it by themselves without oh, yeah, going yeah, yeah. Cr- absolutely yeah. crazy. I remember, you know, you know how uh, I don't know if you ever heard of like uh, Vertigo. Yeah, I, I have Vertigo. Oh, In wow. Vertigo, you just cannot absolutely cannot do anything. You can't move. Wow. Right? Vertigo is is like your whole body is shuts down off caliber. Wow. Yeah. And um, I needed my wife in that moment. And I was so glad I had her because I had to dump everything I was doing. Yeah. She had to send an email to my job because wow. I couldn't hold my phone oh, wow. to send the email. I had to call out through my wife. Like if I didn't have that yeah. and the kids were hungry and they wanted food and they had to go to school, where are we? But here's the thing. I think Cam also thinks from a perspective of a rich man. Like, I don't have to be there. I have nannies. I have this. I have my mama. For I now. Have all this. I tapped into that. But the issue is he may not always be a rich man. Exactly. How many NFL players go broke? Like they go broke, but then also one bad lawsuit can wipe you out. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. one bad lawsuit. But I'm sure I'm sure he getting paid from his his podcast. I'm sure his podcast and investments and I don't think Cam is that stupid where he just not no, no, going no, down with his I mean, it can happen though. But yeah, everything can, happen. can go away. Yeah. Everything yeah. can go away. I mean, you may you may have a judge come down on him to say, Oh, you out here bragging about all these women you having kids with? Child support is gonna be forty thousand. Well, they a child can't get child support if he, if they live with him. So that's the game, probably. It's, 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 like, it's, it's got to be co-ownership. I don't see women co-parenting. Co- oh, yeah, co-co-parenting. Uh, thank you. Um, no, it sounds like it though. The way he pitched yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't see women saying, "I'm not gonna be there for my little girl who's gonna go through trials in life where she needs a mother to talk to her about these things to go through these you got things the with her." You got grandma. Man, you come got, on. Bro. You got auntie. But if the mother is alive and well. And she just out there because she got her feet up we, at the we, pool. We don't we don't know. Some of these women could be taken care of. Some of these women could be like, "Hey, I give you a monthly allowance. You good? You don't have to. You, if you want to come see the kid, you can." That's crazy. But some people live like that. Why would you? Why would you want to give? That, that's a that's a narcissistic narcissistic personality Cam has. If he's telling women, "I want my kids." Even though you were the one that's biologically tied to them, you are you are the nurturer. It, you you can come see them when you want to. Yeah. But they're not gonna Love live that. with you. They're gonna live with me, and and I'm gonna take care of them. Yo, Dr. Bryant, she put people on game. Oh yeah, yeah. I haven't she seen got... one comment negative about what she said. Yeah. She's opening up a wound that a lot of uh, people in the culture are dealing with. Yeah. And I love the way she attacked it because man, she came at him. With mm-hmm. the smoke, she came at Cam, uh, at Nick Cannon with more smoke, but oh, yeah. she came at Cam with the smoke, and it was interesting because I would expect people to be in that situation to kind of cower back a little bit because you're on their platform. Oh yeah, she read him up and down. She did. That was yeah. crazy. I was. I, was I love wild. how she was saying how active he is. Yeah. He's like, I'm taking my time. No, you're not. You're oh, selectively yeah, yeah. active. Woo. Oh yeah, she yeah. she had a lot to say. Speaking of Nick Cannon, she did stop at his podcast, mm-hmm. and this is what she said to Nick. Canon. This is what their conversation was about. I manipulated a situation, right. and therefore, so it's to no discredit to anyone yeah, else. Yeah, I got you. I've come into every situation. I can be God fearing, celibate, the right, one that right, you want. I can right. tell you everything that you want in a man, and show you that I can right. open the doors, lay down the cloak, send the jet, mm-hmm. do it all mm-hmm. to be like, oh my mm-hmm. goodness, then, no, I never. And then toxic Nick but shows look, no, up, look at and you like this. Got me. No, but you just gave me the draws and I ain't heard from him in three read, weeks. What you said is perfect. No, what you said is perfect because you named all of the low functioning, superficial things that a low functioning woman would fall into. Church. Women, that baby, ain't low functioning. Baby, any woman, <laughs> any, woman any woman or man, or the mosque, any, person go. Who has, any person who's done the work. So, Whee. is Nick Cannon manipulating women or is it like Cam? What y'all think? Nah, he's worse than Cam. You think so? Oh, yeah. First of all, he has 11 kids, right? Yeah, he has eleven and I, counting maybe. Well, he, I think he, he has eleven. I, I know, know he has a team. Yeah, I heard about only, NBA young boy just got twelve kids. Oh, the how old is he? Isn't he in his twenties? <laughs> He's very young. Like guys, guys. Well, yeah, but but the, yeah, but I'll, okay. I'll say this about Nick Cannon. Mm-hmm. Nick Cannon's also a PK. What's up with PKs? Bro, they they're the ones out. that the enemy has to go after. Yeah, they're the root. They're the root of the uh, of the whole I ministry. I honestly think I'm gonna say this. This is my personal opinion. I think Mariah jacked him up because he ain't been right ever since that marriage. Mariah jacked him up, but I and I met Nick Cannon when I was 19, 
And he had a problem with me immediately because the young lady I was with, he was trying to holler at. <laughs> and he thought I was trying to holler too. So when I met him, he kind of snubbed me a little bit. Like, wouldn't shake my hand, wouldn't say what's up. I mean, we were we were on a movie set. And um, What was the, this? When I was at 107.9. Oh, okay. But the crazy part about it was me and this girl, we were just friends and she was a... She was an intern, but he had his eye set on her. So he was, was this like, doing drumline? Drumline, yep. Oh wow. So he had his eyes set on her, man, but he treated me like I was, you know what I'm saying? The interview. It was it, yeah, it, it was weird. Was. So I think he has a, a, a definitely he has a um but, a, a complex about him. And I think it's an insecurity. But here's the thing though. I don't ever see Nick not being silly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's hard for me. Lori, she was interviewing Lori Harvey and she yeah. said that and I still want to and, and I wouldn't marry and I still want to try to holler at Lori Harvey. that's on me yeah that's that's you the get same what I'm saying? thing like at that point it's on me to be like yeah because in my mind I, I'm trying to think maybe I could change her and some women probably thinking maybe I could change Nick mm-hmm. Nick ain't changed only Jesus could really truly change Nick yeah like if he surrendered his life to G, like totally surrender and stop like knowing church and knowing things of church but knowing G, like have a real yeah. real relationship with Jesus because you can't have a real relationship with Jesus and still be like yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you to the church, but then I'm gonna, I'm gonna manipulate you. Like you can't do yeah. that. But the, the the problem with Cam, I mean, the problem with Nick is that, uh, and all of these folks, it's fame. Fame is jacking you up. Fame makes you want to be the person that they want you to be for as long as you can be that person. You think so? Oh yeah, that's what fame does. I don't think so. I, I think, think well, he's been famous. He, Cam, I'm not Cam. Nick the, Cannon's been famous, famous long. Teenager, yeah. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not negating. I think I'm telling y'all what happened. I believe his marriage with Mariah Carey shifted his whole mentality about life. Mm-hmm. Cause to me, it's no way you were married and like he didn't have no kids before Mariah Carey. I couldn't even see him being married to Mariah Carey. That was the hardest yeah, that thing was for me weird to understand. For everybody. That was so hard to understand. I mean, I can see how they related to each other. I mean, he, and, and I can see I it. Think but she I just, just wanted think, a kid. I just think at the same time that marriage went whatever he went through in that marriage made him go like, okay, I'm gonna go. But he older was, he was insecure. In that marriage. That's what I was going to see. Yeah, he was insecure in that Fame marriage. Fame and insecurity is a terrible combination. Yeah, because isn't there a big age gap between the two of them? I yeah. think it was. I think it was. Yeah, he was insecure in that marriage. He, I mean, I would imagine that Nick will probably talk about this later in the, later on in his podcast and stuff like that, but probably, well, yeah, he talked about it with Dr. Bryant. Like, he was always abandoned. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So he probably, in his mind, at some point, felt like he was moving away from Mariah. Mariah was moving away from him. And he just kind of snapped. And then I think he, I think what, what he uses is his fame and his money to lord over people to make him feel bigger than them. Yeah. So these women now don't look intimidating to him anymore. Mm. They're not intimidated by him. You know? Well, I think... I think what do you think? I mean, he's, you, what, what, he's not intimidated think? by them. No, I agree. I agree. That's why, I guess in her words, what is it? Did she say low, low vibrational? Functioning. Low functional. Yeah. There we go. Low functional women because it makes you feel bigger and better. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> to be honest. Because if you're going to be around mature and fully healed women, the stuff you're saying and doing ain't going to fly. Let me ask you this question. But wait, hold on real quick. Do you mm-hmm. think when he said, she said, um, low functional women at church? That's what he said. You ain't even say that. He's like, we going to church. Well, they ain't said, no low functioning women this, at church. He said this. He said going to church ain't low functioning. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. he he is applying that women right. at church. He, he like, I'm going to church with these women. So she was she was trying to say he was low functioning. He his issue is he doesn't understand character. Yeah. He's he's confused with what low functioning means. Mm-hmm. 
right? Yeah. He's thinking, I, I think in his mind, he's putting it into a classist situation, mm. right? Yeah. You, you're at a lower class than me because you don't have the money, you don't have the fame, you don't have what I can give you. Because he talked about planes, he talked about whining and dining you, all that kind of stuff. But then I'm going to turn on the masculinity, I'm, I'm going to turn on the toxic male and I'm never going to call you again. I'm going to get the whatever Please. and never call you again. Yeah, I'm going to get the draws. And I'm gonna I didn't want to say that on the mic. I had to clean that up, Jake. Um, <laughs> that's crazy. But, but now... But that's what he said. I mean, so basically I'm going to... We, basically, I'm going to wind it down you. We're going to have sex. And then I'm going to send you back home and I'm, I'm going to change my number. Yeah. Yeah. He told him. And, and that's the thing is that now you got to go through a situation where you meet him. And if you are a woman that's cautious of it. And, and that's the thing, though. I think a lot of um, I think that low functioning thing that Dr. Bryant pointed out is happening across the board, men mm-hmm. and women. Yeah. And I think the issue is more so character. Mm-hmm. Than it is Than it has to do with Finances he, or anything for, for else For him He said he has good character He doesn't no. To him To him He probably To himself He probably thinks I'm a good character man I'm just a womanizer I've asked God To reveal this to me In my prayer closet What does it mean When you get money And fame What does that mean To him Right To God Yeah Because for me when you say good character, it goes back to like with Rick Ross and Meek Mill saying, yeah, I make music that that talks about killing our community, but I also give out turkeys on Thanksgiving. So I'm above what you're what you're you're you're, you're calling me bad character. My character yeah. is I share I do for the community. Yeah. That's not what God looks at. And so I feel like that's where uh, Nick and Cam Newton are struggling is in they feel like I have good character I take care of people I'm nice when you when I meet you yeah. I'm I, I'm welcoming I'm da 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 I'm all these things but we're not talking about that kind of character we're talking about who are you yeah. to God yeah. Yeah. and I think that's where they're I mean man oh my God the Bible goes through it so much about character and how God sees us mm-hmm. and Honestly, I'll say this. When I think of Cam Newton, well, I'll say either between Cam Newton and Nick, I can't remember which, I can't think about which one right now, but it just reminds me of Solomon. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of Solomon. It reminds me of Solomon, how Solomon had Is all Solomon these. Solomon or Samson? Solomon. Solomon. Yeah. More than Samson? With Ecclesiastes. Well, Solomon had all these wives. No, he did, but at the same time, I think Samson was so blinded by Delilah that it took him away from. God, yeah, but Solomon him. ended up ended up Solomon ended up turning away from God yeah, because to of, these from, from to these women, false yeah. gods because yeah. the women yeah. pulled him in that direction. Yeah. Cam and Cam, Cam and Nick are being pulled away the, by women. Their issues are back are going back to like wim, issues with women that's pulling them away further from God. Which but I think goes back to yeah that's what i was about to say it It goes back to self-control and character so it's like if what you're doing your works as we know we're not safe by works you think you're a good person because works but there's no good without god Mm -hmm. and we filter through scripture what's telling us what is good what is good character what are fruits of the spirit you can't have that without god bro yeah so you can do the good things and giving out turkeys but what does your heart look like yeah Yeah. exactly but for them giving out turkeys is something from their heart they're giving they're they're gracious they're they're helping people in need you mm-hmm. know what i mean where they could they feel that way like hey i'm giving back to my community i cam i got a football um camp that i do for kids i nick i, I do toy drives i do all this other stuff yeah. but at the same time when it comes to these ladies yeah sounds yeah, like yeah. whitewash walls to me <laughs> yeah i'm, I'm dirty whatever. i'm gross but i'm just gonna paint over it real quick that's funny